Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about freehand sketching. Our unit for engineering drawing this freehand sketching. This is a very simple unit. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to convert a 3D object into 2D object. Okay. So they will be giving a 3D object. Okay. And you are going to convert it into 2D object. Okay. So this is the object they are given. From this object, we are going to pick the front view, top view, and side view, and we are going to draw in 2D view. So this is the concept of freehand sketching. In last video, we have discussed about one problem. Okay, today we can discuss two to three problems. Okay, you can see this object. So before going to the object, I will be telling you about the quadrants. Okay, so basically we'll be using First quadrant in our engineering drawing. Okay, so we don't know as per our standard, as per our engineering standard, we will be using first quadrant. Okay, in the first quadrant, consider this as the BP and sorry, consider this as the HP. Consider this as the horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane. Okay, this is the first quadrant. This is the first quadrant. Okay, so this is your HP, horizontal plane, and this is BP. Okay. I'm going to place a point or anything here. Okay, we will be seeing your front view in vertical plane. Okay, and we will be seeing your top view of the object. Here the object, top view of the object in the HP. What happens to HP? HP rotates 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree clockwise. So what happens? Where will we drawing? Front view will be at the top. Top view will be at the bottom. Presenting in a straight line. So the same concept they are going to follow in freehand sketching. Okay. So these are dimensions they are given in the question. This is height is 40 mm, this is 15 mm, this is 20 mm. All the dimensions they are given in mm. Okay. So the main thing you have to see in the freehand sketching is this arrow mark. Okay. This arrow mark resembles your eyepiece. Okay, this resembles from where you are viewing the object. So, whenever you are going to approach the freehand sketching problem, you have to first check the arrow mark because this arrow mark resembles the front view. Okay, so using this arrow mark, you can identify this as the front view. Okay, in some problems, they wouldn't have given this arrow mark. In that problem, based on the larger dimension or larger surface area, you can Identify that as the front view. In this problem, they are given this as the front view. So we are going to view from here. Okay. So this is the object given. So when I'm going, this is the eyepiece. Okay. From here, you are going to view the object. So the front view will be this one. Clear? So when you are viewing from here, okay, which you can able to see as front view. You can see this one. You can see this one. Okay. Inverted L shape. And you will be seeing a, you won't see the exact curve, but you know there is a curve. This is hidden. Clear. So from top, when you see, you will be able to see this part and this part and this curvature. Okay. A semicircle. You will be able to see this. Am I right? Okay. So when I am going to view from the side view, this is the side view. Okay, when I am going to view from the side view, you will be able to see this and this one. Am I right? So front view, top view, and side view. We are just going to draw in 2D. Okay, this hole. Okay, we we'll come to so this hole will be visible in the top view. When you are viewing from the top view, this will be visible. This will be clearly visible. This will be visible, and also the circle. So in the top view, you can draw the exact circle. But when you see in the side view, what happens? You'll be seeing there is a hole. But you can't exactly see the hole. So then you have to draw with hidden lines. Okay, that is dotted lines. Am I right? Even in the front view, you can able to see the hole. No, you can't able to see the hole. You can only see the front view and you can 
imagine that there is a fold okay but you can't see directly so it should be coming in the hidden lines clear okay let's go to the answer this is the question let's go to the answer so as you have said there is a front view okay in the front view the hole is not completely visible okay so we are marked with hidden lines okay this is the identification for marking the hidden lines okay so so you have to mark this hole in the hidden lines there is the center clear so if you are going to draw like this dotted lines it means there is a hole here am i right so all the dimensions should be exactly followed whatever they have given here am i right okay let's next go to the so this is the front view next let's go to the top view okay where you are going to draw a top view exact straight okay you have to draw a projection line a slight projection line okay the top view should be exactly same as this okay you should not exit you should not draw here okay this line should be exactly same and this point should be exactly same okay you should not exit because top view won't be exited okay the object will be within the diagram so you are going to draw the top view within the front view it should not be exited like this okay so you can draw a sli slight projection line okay you can draw a slight projection line and then you can draw this one so as we said we will be able to see this one this one this one and this one so this one this one and this one the whole will be clearly visible from the top view so you have drawn the whole as it is without changing any dimension okay so all the dimension this is 12 okay and this is 15 so they have marked everything here okay this is 12 okay the whole height is 32 okay how it is 32 this is okay you are going to see from the top view okay am i right so from center up to here is 32 and this is 12 okay you can just draw the dimensions from there okay from here it is 20 and this is 12 okay how it is 32 from the center of this hole to here is 20 and from here to here is 12 so they are marked as 32 am i clear so all the dimensions should be same in the exam it is not necessary that you should you should draw the this for 12 mm you can just draw a line and then mark it as 12 it means it is 12 mm for freehand sketching it is not necessary that you should draw a 52 mm line you can just draw a line for appropriate height and then mark it as 52 if you mark it as 52 then it means it is 52 mm okay for the rest of the topics you will be drawing the exact dimension for freehand sketching just mark it as 52 that is enough okay okay so we have finished the front view top view let's go to the side view in the side view we are going to view from here okay you will be able to see this one this one and this one so our side view will be like a l okay this one is this one okay this l shape is this one okay you, you not need to draw the curvature because we are going to draw in 2d that is so the health shape clear so this is 12 mm they are marked as a 12 mm so there is a hole here there is a hole here so the hole is not clearly visible in this view, side view it is clearly visible only for the top view so they are just drawn in hidden lines clear okay here they have drawn the hole because it is completely visible all right so this is a, this is for the freehand sketching very simple okay I will give you a little suggestion. What I am going to do is, it is a free hand sketching. You have to draw in free hands without using the scale. But when you draw using a free hand, okay, if you draw a line, it will be shaky. Okay, it won't be straight. So what I will suggest my students is, okay, keep your scale. Okay, if you are going to draw a line, okay, draw a line using a scale, a minute line, not darker. Okay, very light line draw a very light line draw a very light line 
okay draw everything using scale very light after drawing using scale take the scale okay and then using a free and using a free and overwrite in this diagram okay so using a free and on the light line okay just draw a line using a free and then you know the path so then the line won't be shaky am i right the diagram will be neat but don't overwrite or don't make it ugly it should be very neat just use a scale draw a line very light after that above the line again draw a line using the free end am i clear very simple okay so we have finished one problem next let's go to the next problem so see this this is a 3d object this is isometric view so this is the view okay what is this corresponds to this error mark corresponds to it resembles the front view of the object so this is the front view if this is the front view this will be the top view and this will be the side view okay so this side view am i right so and one more important thing we have missed in the last previous problem okay when you are going to visible the side view left hand side then you have to draw in the right hand side clear okay? the side left hand side view is visible then we'll be doing the side view in the left hand side and drawing in the right hand side because we are pass we are going to pass a torch there okay where will the shadow will be falling on the opposite side clear so if you see the side view side view is in the left side so we are going to see here and draw in the opposite side right hand side so only the side view is in the right side okay but we have to write as left side view because we are viewing the left side view and this is left side right this is front view top view and left side view and drawing in the right side but mentioned as left side view am i right okay let's go to the next problem this is very simple problem in the front view you can able to see the whole clearly okay it is fully visible in the front view so this is the front view in the front view you will be able to see this one am i right this one in the top view you will be able to see this one and this one okay in the side view okay this is the left side view okay we are going to see the left side view and draw in the right side mention it as left side view so you are able to see this one and this one okay so this is the front view as we said the whole is fully visible in front view so you can draw the whole as it is all the dimension should be followed as it is okay and projecting from this point line this point and this point draw a slight line okay and then draw this top view okay the top view this point should not come here okay this point should be straight to this point because we are projecting the front view so this is the top view okay in the top view in the top view we can't able to see the full hole so we are marking with hidden lines am i right okay next side view as i said you can able to see this and this one okay and this is a hidden line we can't from here we can't see the clear hole okay but we know that there is a hole so it should be marked in the hidden lines am i right so this one and this one here there is a hole project the hole from here to here draw dotted line and from the center draw a dotted line this means there is a hole there Clear? so as we see we have seen the left side okay but the diagram should be drawn in the right side so right side we have drawn i have mentioned as left side view okay that's it very simple i will attach the ppt along with this video in the moodle okay you can refer to this and complete the assignment thank you